Raiders on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Um, as viewers and listeners uh, of this radio show know, a lot of my predictions, unfortunately, are coming true. And it's not because I had a crystal ball. It's because the social engineers that control this planet to a great extent have been open about the social engineering that they are engaged in. They have been extremely honest about their plans to create a totally controlled society where humans basically operate and act like biological androids. Synthetic reality to bring synthetic consciousness that is no form of consciousness at all. Now, I'm not against technology. Technology's been neutral for thousands of years, whether it was the wheel or before that fire. A sword can be used for good, it can be used for bad. A Butcher knife can be used for good or bad. So I'm not anti-technology, but in the last hundred years, most Western technology has been developed and deployed for social engineering purposes. Everything we now use today, from cell phones to smart meters, uh, to quote, smart appliances, is being used to track everything you do, to manipulate prices, to gouge you, to surveil you, and to take that data and to put it into big aggregate systems to literally be able to predict the future and fix markets. This is the dream of the monopoly capitalist who are the opposite of free market capitalist that all free peoples continually wage war against. It was the globalist Carol Quigley at Georgetown that famously said they'll work with fascist, socialist, communist, or just dictators as long as it's centralized. 
They don't like freedom. They want to have controlled markets so they can dominate the future of the species. And you've seen how they've been the prime drivers and authors of most of our woes. Now, I wanted uh, to start doing a feature here on the show once a week, every two weeks or so, uh, sometimes maybe once a month, it'll vary, where we go back into the archive and pull up some of the things that I said a year ago or two years ago or five years ago or 15, 16, 17 years ago. And that's the case from 1997, almost 17 years ago. I wanted to illustrate that biometrics were being put in at driver's license facilities to bring in a unified federal national ID card to set up domestic checkpoints on highways and at airports to bring in an internal police system. That is now being deployed at airports, part of Trusted Traveler, where you opt into it. Soon it will be mandatory. It's used to track everywhere you go. If you're not a good globalist, they turn your thumbprint off and you can not buy or sell anymore. That's why they're trying to get rid of farmer's markets, kids selling lemonade. They want you only going to big box stores that are going to be part of this control grid. And so now, 17 years later, we see states like Virginia and, and the District of Columbia by Virginia saying we want to make you do a drug test and give urine or blood to get a driver's license. Guilty until proven innocent. Exactly what Bill Clinton put down in an executive order back in 1996. Now, they never fully realized all that, but it shows us where they wanted to go. And most of what they wanted to do back then has now actually happened. So I wanted to play from my first film, America Destroyed by Design, uh, something that is uh, quite famous on the internet, but still a lot of people don't know about it, my arrest for illustrating that biometrics uh, was coming as a dehumanizing control system. The police officer, the state police officer that arrested me later apologized uh, to me years later and said he knows that I'm right. This is a system of total control. I ran into him down at the Capitol years later at a demonstration there. Face scanning technology is going to be used to totally control every aspect of our life. It's rolling out. They want web IDs where you'll get on the internet with a face scan or a thumbprint. Microsoft admits that. Facebook admits that. And then three strikes, you're out. No judge, no jury, no indictment. If big companies say you've done something wrong on the internet three times, like the YouTube model, you are then banned off of the internet. And that's what Google's doing, trying to get that database, making you give them your cell phone, your home phone, your IDs with your Google ID tied to your email and your YouTube and, and, and to your Google wallet. So when you're not a good globalist, you can just be turned off. This is the type of system that would make Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, or Mao Zedong uh, have a literal wet dream. This is the Trojan horse tools that are completely enslaving our society. Just look at some of these headlines. Obama administration launches plan to make internet ID a reality, to tax you, to track you, to turn you off if they don't want to, with all of their illegal spying, which they denied for decades, which they now admit. Facebook, Walmart set sites on face scanning to buy and to sell. South China Morning Post, Facebook, Apple to help draft face scanning rules amid privacy fears. Nightclub goes for face scanning security. This is happening in Texas, it's happening in Melbourne, Australia. It's a global grid. Oh, you had five beers today, the police know. They're hooked in to the face scanner at the bar. They're trying to force locals to wire their security cameras in by law in New York and other states to this. It's a global technocracy grid run by the globalists who are bad people. This could be human empowering. The problem is it's being designed and deployed and rolled out from the beginning from an authoritarian bent, ladies and gentlemen. Another article, White House wants Chinese-style ID system for Internet users. Again, off face scanning and thumbprinting to control and track everything you do. Vehicle miles, traveling tax proposed. Guess what's already in all the cars universally worldwide? From Japan to the U.S., the satellite tracker box hooked into a cell phone in the belly of your car to tax you by the mile. See how everything I predicted coming? Because I didn't predict it. The globalists at MIT admitted all this when I was warning people back in the mid-1990s. 
Biometric security uh, being promoted as if the public wants it. Oh, biometric security can't come soon enough for some people is the headline. It goes on and on and on. The idea that won't die, how taxing cars with a mile is back on the agenda. And they have the boxes in the cars. Take a peek. Biometric security offers relief from passwords. That's right. Oh, the government releases the passwords. The government releases the worms and the viruses that break in and steal your password and give it to hackers. That's been in the news. So that they discredit passwords and force you to go to a thumbprint, an iris scan, which that imprint can just as easily be stolen. All it is is a list of digital numbers or a digital algorithm. It's even easier to defraud the thumbprint or the eye scan because you can't ever change that password. And that's all been proven to be a fraud as well. Here's another one. DHS to test face scanning cameras at Tri-City Hockey Game. Again, with checkpoints and people searching you at the checkpoints, supposedly because of Al-Qaeda and uh, other groups that they publicly arm, fund, and run in Syria, Libya, Iraq, and other areas. Again, a criminal technocracy creating crises or exacerbating crises, like Rahm Emanuel, White House Chief of Staff famously said, now the Chicago mob boss and Don, they don't want to let a good crisis go to waste. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. Again, it's not that technology's bad. Our technology has been developed and deployed for 100 years to carry out dehumanization, to carry out eugenics. Look at who founded IBM, top Nazi Thomas Watson. Look at who runs all these systems. Find out who Bill and Melinda Gates are. Find out about their own statements, Warren Buffett. Then you'll understand why the technology is driving in this direction. Because these people believe they're going to merge with the machines and become God, as Ray Kurzweil, the head of Google Technology, has said. Let's go ahead and now go back to 1997, where I got arrested to draw attention. You know, some fools out there say, Alex, you got fingerprinted, you got arrested, ah ha ha, you were trying to get around fingerprinting. No, I wasn't trying to get around fingerprinting. I wasn't putting super glue on my thumb to fool the biometrics. I was trying to stop the collection of biometrics and the national ID card to begin with. I was warning about things they wouldn't even admit existed at the time. And we did succeed in raising public awareness to where we now have a good shot of changing all of this today. All right, enough from Alex Jones in 2014. Let's go back to 1997, and then we'll come back to the future and David Knight after this time capsule. All right, so we're ready for you. All right, they're ready for me. Let's go. Come, on, come over and get the pretty little red light. Come on. Isn't that pretty? And they'll put a nice little clinic in here in the next few years for urine and blood testing like Clinton wants. What do I have to hide? I'm a criminal. There we have it. Nice little pretty red light. Get that, Mike. There we have it. Your photograph, they capture your signature, they capture your thumbprint, and now Clinton wants urine and blood, and I've given that to the media, the actual federal register that he wants the states to implement. And I guess it tells them how to put clinics in, and it tells them how to urine and blood test law-abiding citizens not under 18, like the media says. Hi. How you doing? I am here with eight forms of identification. I have my passport. Here's that, my name, and the form you asked me to fill out. I have no criminal record. My name is Alexander Emmerich Jones. Here is my passport. Here is my insurance. Here is another form of ID. Here is my old driver's license. Here is my birth certificate. And here is my W-2 form. And uh, here is two more insurance cards, old ones, just so you can double check. It sends a health club You've card. You've got ID. Okay. Good to go. We're going to get you to right now. I need for you to answer these first three questions. Take a look at these questions there and go over them things. So I don't have to thumb scan. Well, we're going to get to that. You are eventually going to have to. Yes, sir. But not now. Not at this point. But you will before we're done with the process. Why? Because it's required. It's required by Bill Clinton in 1992. And it was instituted here in Texas in 1993. I know the code, sir. Are you going to institute his urine and blood testing when he commands you? Are you going to stick a needle in my arm when I have no criminal record? The only, answers I'm, only questions I'm going to answer right now are concerning driver's license issuance. You just follow orders, don't you? So you're saying you're going to deny me the constitutional right to travel if I do not submit to this digital thumb 